hello again. This is Ashley Sellers, speech therapist for Speech, Language, and Beyond. And I'm coming to you today for another video about a language activity which can be used as a file folder game. And this will be good for um, any parents that are looking to work on some language skills with their children um, in their spare time. It's also for any speech therapist, teacher, English um, language arts teacher that is looking for a creative way um, to teach kids about verbs and being able to use them in sentences. So the name of this activity is called Verbal Vibes. And there's going to be a link next to the video that you can click to be able to download this for free. Um, and I'm going to show you just an example of what it looks like. These are the calling cards for, for verbal vibes. Okay, and it's one, it's one sheet and you can print out as many copies as you need for the number of students that you'll be working with. And if you notice, it's um, laminated so that you can get continual use out of it. And you take it and what you would do is put it in a regular file folder as such. You take that file folder and you laminate it as well just so that it, it doesn't um, tear easily or um, over time that it's more durable. And here are the directions for it here. The directions are there. It's this size. You cut it out. You paste it and then once you paste it on here you can go ahead and laminate it in the machine. Okay. And so verbal vibes basically is a way for children to um, use verbal expression. And what I like about these games, and let me just say, I am not the owner of this game. This is a file folder um, game that was passed on to me from someone else. Um, and the object, what I like about it is because it has the objectives, the speech and language objectives that the children will be working on. It also has, tells you the materials that you need and the directions are pasted here on the outside. So for verbal vibes, the objectives are the student will use verbal expression. The student will construct sentences that are grammatically correct. And as a precursor to every activity, um, I always explain to my kids what we're doing. Um, for verbs, I will tell them that it's a part of speech. Verbs show action. Ask them for some example of some verbs just to make sure they're, they're understanding the topic and the subject that we're talking about. And for me to provide any um, preliminary information they need to successfully complete the activity. Okay, so the way this is going to be used, you're going to need the verbal vibe sheet. You're also going to need a spinner, which if you do not have a spinner available, if you would um, scroll up the top of this page and print out either the articulation spinner or the speech and language spinner, each one, either one will do, construct it on your own and use this to go with the game and also you're going to need um, a marker and a pencil for each player so here are the directions each player in turn begins at start they spin the spinner and they move the indicated number of spaces the player provides a sentence for each word passed on the path including the word on the space marker the space marker land zone okay so for example if you spin your spinner as such and the kid lands on one let's just say they land on two just give us a better example and they land on two then on this sheet where start is you're going to move two spaces one and two so the words that they pass were swim and draw so they're going to give you a sentence using each one of these words. And the objective is for them to use the sentence correctly by using that verb in a sentence. And to also, so that means that, you know, if they're doing a sentence about swim, it needs to be meaningful so it shows the meaning of the word swim. That it's showing action, that it's showing somebody that's in water, that type of thing. And also... Um, it's good for kids that are working on grammatically correct sentences that they're using the right subject verb agreement um, that they're producing the words correctly that it's meaningful so this is just an activity that I think most of my parents 
um, with my kids who have any type of language issues going on. This is just a good activity for them to use um, to be able to work on their language skills. And some of the words that are on here are talk, cry, jump, eat, catch, speak, run, open, drop, look, move, climb, draw. So these are some good verbs. And I'm always a person, I love to take activities and extend them as much as I can. So where this is working on verbs, let's say you have a, a, um, a student that needs to also work on nouns as well. And they're also working on simple sentences. Then you can say, you know what, we're going to work on sentences today. And what you're going to do, you're going to use this verb in a sentence, but first you're going to pair it with a noun. So for example, if you have the word catch, you will say, give me a noun verb phrase for catch. You say may say catch ball. Um, and that's a good noun verb phrase because you're showing um, the, the action of that noun. Then you take the term catch ball and you put it into a more complete sentence. The boy is going to catch the ball. So you're building on those skills. Um, another way to do that, if you have a child that's working on any form of figurative language um, and coming up with idioms, you may say, okay, well, the word catch is a verb that we're going to use in a sentence. Now I want you to also tell me an idiom that contains the word catch. And that could be catch my drift. Okay, that's an idiom. And then you ask, what does catch my drift mean? Use catch my drift in a sentence to show me that you understand what it says. It's so many ways to use activities like this as a way to target so many different speech and language objectives at one time. It's creative, it's fun, it's hands-on, and you can even use this as an independent activity. Let's say you don't want to use this as a game. You can tell your, your student to pull this sheet out, get another sheet of paper, use the words that are on here, and to be able to write out their own sentences. And sometimes kids can say something that they're unable to write on paper. So they're also working on using a capital letter, putting the correct punctuation mark at the end of the sentence, making sure they're spelling their words correctly, making sure they have the right um, syntactic structure that's necessary to write sentences. So I wanted to make this available and just tell you the different ways that you can be able to use an activity just like this to have a really good speech therapy session either for a game um, for an activity that you want to work on at home with your child in their individual time. And I stress so badly for my parents. Speech therapy must be practiced in the home environment. It is a skill that requires practice in every single setting. The speech therapy setting, the home setting, the school setting. The more that they practice these speech and language skills, the better they're going to be able to communicate, the quicker you're going to see those carryover results. So that's why I'm trying to make as many materials possible that I can. So again, this is called Verbal Vibes. There is going to be a link which you can download this for free. And if you don't have a spinner, if you would just scroll up the page and um, either print out the articulation spinner or the articulation and language spinner, you can make your own to go with the activity. So I hope this was useful for you. And check back within about the next two weeks and I will add another activity. Thank you. Have a good day.